Larry Legend played the court like nobody else, yet the beginning of his astonishing career was marked by a truly tragic twist of fate. Boston Celtics forward Larry Bird dominated the court throughout the 1980s, leading his team to three NBA titles and generally pulling off a legendary basketball career. After winning the 1980 NBA Rookie of the Year award, Bird simply never let up. Over his 13 years in the sport, Bird was a 12-time All-Star, earning the All-Star Game MVP award in 1982. A three-time NBA MVP winner, Bird also took home the Top Player Award during the NBA Finals in 1984 and 1986. Uh, I'm very happy with uh, the way things turned out in Boston because it's been very easy. All I do is show up, play basketball, and things have been going well on the court. Bird's wizardry in the NBA also led him to represent the United States in the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona, where he helped lead Team USA to an Olympic gold medal. Bird's basketball feats were recognized in 1998 when he was elected into the NBA Hall of Fame. Though his career as a player was over, Bird continued to play an active role in the sport. Notably, he became head coach of the Indiana Pacers for three seasons from 1997 to 1999. He was even named NBA Coach of the Year in 97. But Bird's life as a young adult began on a tragic note. The unexpected death of his father, Joe Bird, shook the then-amateur athlete to his core. But despite becoming fatherless at 19, Bird pushed forward, making a name for himself in the NCAA several years later before joining the Celtics, and later cementing himself as an NBA legend. You gotta love to watch Larry Bird in action. In 1956, Bird was born to Georgia, a restaurant worker, and Joe, who was employed in construction. Fourth in line of six children, he was raised in a working-class family in West Baden, Indiana. Bird was close to his father growing up, and the two embarked on countless fishing excursions together. Joe Bird was a veteran of the Korean War, and it's thought that his time in the military may have taken its toll. He was a heavy drinker and often unemployed. This put strain on the family's finances, forcing Bird's mother to borrow money for groceries. Bird and his siblings were expected to work, and he toiled away for 40 hours a week when he was just 13 years old. Bird grew into a talented high school basketball player, and many universities courted him for his abilities, but he knew that he couldn't afford to pay the gap between the scholarships offered and his tuition bill, so he took time away to work and save money, with the intention of attending a year later. It was during this period that Bird began to play for an amateur basketball club in the AAU, and it was during his team's championship-winning run that season that he received the devastating news of his father's suicide. As dramatized in the HBO series Winning Time, Joe and Georgia Bird divorced not long before Joe's death. Georgia received a call from her ex-husband on February 3, 1975. Joe had been late in his child support payments. During an argument, Georgia told him that the family would be better off without him. Joe hung up the phone. He died shortly after. Dan Moore, Bird's coach at the time, recalled how the team won the championship soon after Bird received the news of his father's death. Moore points out a team photo taken after the victory, emphasizing how Bird stood out among his teammates, and that he wasn't smiling either. Though Bird was burdened with the stresses of the future and his father's death, he didn't allow these obstacles to block him from basketball. Of that time in his life, he recalled, I sort of always felt my dad gave up on not only himself, but us kids. I still had two younger brothers at home and a mom. That's the way I looked at it then, and the way I look at it now. I handled it pretty good, I think. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline by dialing 988 or by calling 1-800-273-TALK-8255.